what controller should you be using for Dragon Ball Spark and Zero? It's kind of a weird question because normally when I think of which controller should we be using for a fighting game, it's normally a matter of do we use fight stick or do we use a hitbox or that's not necessarily the case for this game. Let me hop into this. Let me tell you why. So first off, when you hop into the regular game, you have an option over in the bottom right. It says options, you have controls and camera. And so basically what this is, is you can decide which, what kind of controller do you want? In the options, it's not a matter of fight stick or um or hitbox or whatever it's a matter of do you want your buttons to be like og tenkaichi i again it it still trips me out when a developer actually listens to us and so right here so we have the standard this is the standard button layout for this is what everybody came to know when they were playing tenkaichi back on ps2 or wii or whatever but there's i don't think there's inherently any uh, any pros or cons for either of them for example with there are differences though for example if you go to classic and go down here you can choose how you want the direction aspect to be so you can either have it so that for example if you use the directional buttons that can move your character um you can do the speed impact but down here you can change how skills are used you can change the blast etc ultimate blast these are different than for example if you were to go in and do standard so standard for example some things i want to point out that are different between standard and um classic is so it doesn't show it here but in order to do a revenge counter you have to click r3 while you're getting hit in revenge counter basically what that is is you waste you not necessarily waste but you burn two bars of your skill which is the number that um or the bar or number that grows under your character and so you burn two bars and it basically get repels them off and so you use r3 to do that or compared to the classic edition where you just press l1 so there's a it's a one button it's still a one button thing but there's there's not a there's not a perception button either so perception basically what it is is kind of like a counter stance so on here right here you hold circle instead of it being circle on here it's for classic it's triangle and circle at the same time that's also going to be the move that you do if you time it just right it's how you do the sway where they start punching and you're just dodging it and then eventually you hit them out the way um so that's that's a few things i definitely suggest when you hop into the game if you select the regular and you are more comfortable with tenkaichi um sticks and things like that controls definitely choose tenkaichi but at the end of the day it's not necessarily there's not necessarily a oh if you use this setting then you get more wins etc use what you're comfortable for use what you're comfortable with consider going to the training because on this game at the end of the day the thing that matters the most is timing is timing and comfortability so if you can get those down you're already a step ahead hopefully this video helped someone if it did go ahead and leave a like comment Comment how you feel about Sparking Zero if you've played it, if you haven't played it. What are you gonna do first? You're gonna do episode battle? You're gonna do hop into online? You're gonna actually go in and get some time in the hyperbolic time chamber, get some training in? Let me know below. But until next video, peace.